Hello YouTube! Welcome to the Motor Pace video! The coolest, craziest, but also the fastest and most fun way to inline skate. Drafting behind a car. Welcome everybody to our Motor Pace slash car draft video. I'm here with my coach, Mitch Whitmore. Also Olympic speed skater, SMI. And, uh, but today we're hopping on the wheels on inlines. And we're gonna do this workout called motor pacing, where we skate basically behind a car going up to ridiculously high speeds. Why is this a great idea, Mitch? Well, for one, it makes it a little bit easier on the skater to be at those speeds. It's like uh, having a team in a pace line. And if you don't have a team to work with, you can use the car uh, to work on your technique while at a pace that you're gonna race at. And I think that's really important because you know a lot of people work on skating while going slow. It's just not the same transfer when you're going fast. It's also a little bit easier, so you can save the legs in the draft. Um, and then on the other side, it's good for the top speed. So obviously you can push the pace with a really big draft in front of you, um, especially if you're the fastest person on your team, let's say, uh, and you don't have teammates to push you, use a car, it's gonna be faster. Find a truck as your teammate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really it is super cool that the amount of time you can get in in a motor pace workout where you sprint or even faster than your maximum speed is crazy for how little fatigue. So let's say if you're really fit, you can maybe get some minutes in uh, in a workout where you sprint at your absolute maximum pace before you end up being tired. Where if you do behind a car, you can go for way more, more than the double at, at your top speed. There's also a lot of things you would uh, have to, to worry about. Um, it, it is a little risky because you are going fast and you're going on a road. And, uh, and of course, you can't see ahead of you uh, for most of the time because you have a car ahead of you. So uh, what are the things you would uh, you want to, uh, <laughs> to prepare for here, Mitch? Uh, well, <laughs> one, while you're driving, you want to be paying attention, as I make a turn right there. You want to be paying attention to what's going on around you and what's going on behind you. So definitely no distractions. Uh, the second piece would be to keep the speed really steady. Um, depending on the car that you have, if your cruise control is really solid at slower speeds, you can use that and just bump it up slowly. The other piece is not hitting the brakes ever if you can, because the skaters cannot stop as quickly as you can. So make sure that you're planning way ahead of time and if you see something coming up, you start slowing down or letting off the gas, but not because you're hitting the brakes. And make sure you're communicating with some hand signals uh, with the skaters behind you. Windows down so, uh, so you can communicate. For today's video, we are out here a little north of Salt Lake City doing it on a perfectly flat street about three miles long. No traffic, no side roads, nothing to really worry about other than just skating well, which is, I would say, the ideal location. So when you do workouts like this behind a car, you can go with different training programs or different protocols. The one we're gonna do today, which is also what we recommend, because that's where you get the most out of that free speed. What is that, Mitch? So we're gonna start off with a little bit longer warm up just to you know get comfortable for the driver and for the athlete. Uh, just get used to skating behind the car, make sure we're at the right distance behind. Knowing the road, if there's any <laughs> potholes. Knowing the road so we can yeah, avoid any damage on the, on the road. Um, but then we're gonna build up to doing some one, uh, two minutes of skating at a time. Uh, and again, increasing the speed as we go, just so everybody is you know, safe as we go through it. Uh, and then we're gonna work on some top speed stuff at the end. Um, we were talking earlier too that this is a great tool for marathons or really any road races, but um, the marathon especially because you have such a large pack and the speeds are super high the whole time. Um, so this is another good training tool to get comfortable at that pace um, for an extended period of time. For a lot of people, if they sign up for the big marathons, the North Shore Berlin Marathon, the speed that they're able to maintain when in a pack is gonna be so much higher than what you could do alone, even for the elite, or especially for the elite, actually. So so being comfortable at that pace is, is gonna make a massive difference. That's where we can train her. So let's get to work. Let's put on skates.
if it's too easy. Give us a crash for the viewers. video uh, be sure to check out some more stuff over on our GSN YouTube channel uh, we did some other strategies on motor pacing we did one where we compared ice skating and inline skating behind the truck and another one where we're gonna teach you how to skate like a pro basically in just a few steps thanks for watching see you next time that's awkward <laughs> For the video purposes, do we want to like still act like we're driving? Yeah, should we? <laughs>